for print and cut, we're going to start off by uploading an image. And I'm going to choose an image from a vacation. And I'm actually going to turn this into a puzzle. So pick this image of Donald. I'm going to go with complex because I want all the different colors and textures that work in here. And then I'm just going to continue here. And I want to make sure I pick the print and cut and hit save. So then after I've saved it as a print and cut, I can select the image and let's get rid of that. Insert the image into my canvas. Insert. All right. So it's going to take a minute to kind of load because it's a big high definition image. And now because I want to do this on a puzzle piece, I'm going to go to images and search for a puzzle. And I want to use images I own. So I'm going to go to filter and say my images. My images. I'm going to pause the video while I bring this in. So now I have the puzzle image in here and I'm going to make it five inches because that just seems like a good size to do for this puzzle. Okay, so now it's five inches all the way around. Now I want all of these images to actually have the image of Donald on them, so I don't want the colors. So now while I have it all selected, I'm going to go up here and change the color to white. And let's move this over here. And I'm going to insert a shape of a square and make that five inches also. going to size Donald up a little bit. Oops, that didn't catch. So now I place the square over Donald. I'm going to select both of them and then go slice, which lets me take away this extra stuff and then I have a perfect little image of Donald. Okay, and it's five inches just like this square, so I'm going to select both of them. Really, I am. The computer's being wackadoodle today. Okay, so I selected both of them and we up here to align and I'm going to go center it's going to perfectly center everything over the top of each other. Then I want to go down here and go attach. And now Donald's attached to the puzzle. I can see that over here it says the pictures are cut and print. And then the other images of the puzzle are just cut. Okay, so now we're going to hit make it. It's going to get ready to send it to the printer. It's um, showing the registration mark around here. And while this loads, I'm just going to pause the video. So once I, I sent it to the printer, printed it out, and I'm at the screen where I'm connected to my machine, I can click, I've already printed it. And now it's going to ask me to load my mat. And then after you do that, it'll cut it perfectly go back to my blog to see the ending pictures.